Last and outclassed by Team Melbourne. That's probably not going to play finals this year. They tried hard against Port Adelaide last week but weren't, uh, weren't good enough. It was the same last night. They're just not good enough, this Richmond side. And when we saw last night Hawthorne, they could cover some significant outs. The Tigers' reliance on their big five is still far too significant. And last night, two of those were out in Alex Rance and uh, Trent Koch. And so maybe last year when Richmond won 15 games, that was uh, the peak of this group. And now they really need to, to go back, start a little bit of a mini rebuild and uh, try and, and build and try and get up there again. Because at the moment, on current form, uh, this team just doesn't seem good enough to compete with the best teams in the competition. Yeah, Jules, you mentioned that rebuild there. If their final campaign is over... What do they need to do? Is it time to start blooding some of the younger players? Well, in fairness to Damien Hardwick, he's already been doing that this year, and I think he's doing the right thing. He realised if you keep getting into elimination finals with the same group and losing, I mean, you're not going to get any further. So he's, he's half been forced to do that with some of the injuries this year. So we've seen Corey Ellis, we've seen Castagna, we've seen uh, Daniel Rioli playing, Jaden Short, and all those guys were in action uh, last night. But there's some other players on the list that he needs to have a look at. Ben Lennon was a high draft pick, hasn't played that many games. It was good to see uh, Vlostone playing in the middle last night. Liam McBean's been on the list uh, for quite some time. So I think it's a good chance for the rest of the year to have a good, a good look at the Richmond list.